All right, I can tell you this about the uh, terrain painter for PBR materials. I'm not a fan of how they do the base, the base color map because if you wanted to paint, say, where a road cement is, grass, it's just going to look like grass and be the color of the road cement. That's why I'm not crazy about that. But I can show you how to uh, change it to something else. Just remember it's got to be 2048 by 2048. So this folder here I had to extract uh, from where the game is installed. You go to your D drive or whatever drive you got yours on. Steam library, Steam apps, common BeamNG drive, content levels, small island, or no, it's Jungle Rock Island. I extracted that onto the desktop in order to have access to the textures that they use on their level. Now, uh, once you load the level for the first time, or not necessarily the first time, but when you want to edit the level for the first time, you need to save it after you load it. I'll show you how to do that. Look at that beautiful spoiler, goodness. Or like that make people jealous, woman. <laughs> it's about, about to be the ugliest crap. All right. So here we got some terrain. Right, let me see if I can find an example of what I'm talking about. Like here's uh, looking for asphalt. Okay, here's a good example. So you're wanting to change all this. You want to change this road. I gotta do a couple quick things. There's a lot of decals. Show sure are a lot. decal crazy so this is terrain paint here under the decals and if you wanted to paint this a different color like grass well you can it'll show the grass but the texture is actually the same color as cement and that's because of the way they did their base color it's like a concrete even if you paint concrete in grass it doesn't look like concrete. I mean, it may have the uh, roughness and the normal maps of concrete, but it doesn't look like it. Like rocks are green, for example, and rocks on a road or, see, that's what I mean. So I'll show you how to change that. So you can have, you can edit these to be more like this one, how mud, see, this is a mud that I made just a little while ago. You can see how that clearly is covering up uh, the base color map and that's a decal also so if you wanted to like, do something like that you'd have to split the decal that's all it's not too difficult uh, so what you do you go into your terrain painter like mud for example you see this here let's look at a different one let's look at rock See, every one of these textures, grass, rock, whatever they are, they all use that same base color map. So what I did is if you look here, base color has to be 2048 by 2048. That has to be here. So that's what that has to be is 2048 by 2048. If it's 1024 by 1024, it ain't going to work. So once you extract that folder, we'll go onto the desktop and we'll get it real quick. Uh, all right, levels, art, or jungle art, uh, terrains, and 
this is the one that's on the desktop, not the one that I actually have in the game right now. But we'll just grab one of these. And put it in the photo editor. Let's try that one. I realize these are not the way they do the PBR. Like the colors are hard to explain how they do them. I'm not 100% sure on how to make the best PBR materials. I mean, I fooled with it a little bit, made a couple custom ones, but it took a long time. There's so many damn materials, like 18 materials. So go ahead and change that color. Colorize, colorize. Where the hell is it? Oh, I can't colorize grayscale. Gotta change that to RGB. Now I'm just gonna kind of tint it. So it still has the same look to it. Just a little different. down the saturation a bit. I never want something too too saturated. And change the scale to the required 2048 by 2048. Now export this as a PNG because apparently from what I could tell it doesn't support DDS in the terrain 1.5 or JPEG uh, or it didn't at one time, I don't think. I'm almost 100% sure they have to be PNGs. So navigate to the user folder. Oh, I didn't tell you how to save the damn level. When you load it for the first time, you got to go to save level. And what that's gonna do, if you haven't ever done that, it's going to make a user folder for that level. So you go to the current version, whatever it may be, and levels, you will see Jungle Rock Island. Now, the art folder wasn't there. I just created an art folder and uh, created a terrains folder. And that's where I stuck the texture that I made a little while ago. See, that's 2048 by 2048. See, that is where I would export this to. But you won't have this folder unless you go into the world editor and save the level first. So I'll just put it, I'll just make a different one. Let's call it one, two, three, four. And none of that stuff, I don't fool with any of that stuff there. And inside of here, with the one you want to change, maybe it's dirt you want to change. Uh, you just, oh. Look at that shit there. That ain't gonna work. Okay. <laughs> it showed me a little rectangular box, and I was like, oh crap. And I was like, why is it thinking to myself, why is it doing that? That only does that with DDS files. Why is it doing that with a PNG? But then I see it fixed itself. So you open that, replace that, save changes. Now, when you paint with whatever dirt, you will get. Uh, the dirt with the newer texture on it you know and it'll work just like the other where you can paint anything and it'll cross uh, the map and whatnot uh, so anybody else get crappy performance in this world editor in these PBR levels I don't know what the hell goes on but I know it's pretty irritating I'm not sure what's taking up the Which C CPU and GPU ain't utilized. Unless it's memory. I mean, maybe it's memory. I don't know. But it's pretty, pretty slow. Let's see what the memory says. 
I mean, 70% memory usage. I know the game warns you at 80% and tells you you're low on memory. So I'm wondering if it's because of the way maybe some of this is cached. Like, uh, compressed or whatever memory. I'm not sure. But you see, it's shouldn't be no reason why I'm getting 47 frames per second. I mean, I'm looking at the ground. You know, it ain't like I'm looking at a five million, five hundred million polygon model. So I'm not sure why it's acting like this. I think it might be. I think it might be um, because of VSync. I did notice uh, VSync causing problems, but it it's only in the damn editor apparently because the game moves around fine. I did turn all the delete a lot of trees because I'm working on something and I only really want detail around the area of the uh, the activity. Which, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be kind of over here when I'm done with it. So everything else, I kind of minimize so people can have some better performance. But it doesn't seem to really help him. So maybe the V-Sync. I don't know. I'll try it real quick to see if that's what it is. I have to limit my V-Sync because this TV only does 4K 60. It does 4, 1440p at 120, but that's that's terrible. So I guess still it doesn't matter. The frames per second sucks. The editor for some reason. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Maybe it's the memory. That's the only thing I can think. I did also consider, well, maybe it's the uh, setting where you can, on the NVIDIA cards, you can uh, turn off the, uh, let's see here, uh, it's damn setting. For You get better response time but the game doesn't, I guess it, or the system doesn't allow it to uh, cache a couple frames, or queue a couple frames, so I don't know, maybe that's it. No idea. I thought a long time ago, it's like, that's just because the damn video card's old. But, well, we got another video card, and it's better, and it's still... See that shit? That shouldn't be acting like that. And it didn't start doing that until the last update. So, I don't know. But anyway, I just hope it's not. Uh, well, I mean, if it's memory, I can get more memory. But anyway, that's how you do that. I didn't mean to get off topic a little bit. Yeah, that's an easy way to change these. So if you want to have actual, like, what you want to paint instead of what it gives you, that's what you kind of got to do. And of course, if you want to, if you want to change the ground model for the things, that's uh, another process entirely. They remove that option from the editor. It used to be in 1.0 materials, but now it's out missing out of there too. So now you gotta manually add the crap. Which maybe there ain't too many people that do it, and they figured, well, shit, only like two percent of the people that make things actually fool with it. So maybe that's why. I'm, but that is in here, desktop. Uh, Levels, jungle rock, art, terrains. So in here you'll see. Well, you should see some that indicates the ground model, but I don't see it. There it is, ground model name, sand. See, like, 
that's what if you wanted to change that you could I don't have a list of everything all the ground models off the top of my head but they are all here where the game is installed in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Beam, NG Drive, inside of GameEngine.zip in the art, not the art folder, uh, or is it the art shapes? That ain't where it is either. I gotta search for it because I forget where it's at in there. Maybe it's in Core. Yeah, let me just do a quick search. Get where that folder is. Huh. Brown marker. Where the hell is it? Plus it's in here. I might have been searching in the wrong damn. I thought I may have thought I was searching in the zip file, but I wasn't. I don't know, folks. This is just something else I gotta look into because I don't know what the hell happened to it. I thought that was almost 100% sure that was where it is because the folder looks like this, uh, basically. Which, if you want, but the point I was trying to make, if you want custom ground models, you'd have to have a ground models folder. But I was trying to show you the list, the one that has all the ground models, all the names for all the ground models, and I either forgot where the hell it was or they changed something but yeah there's a long list of stuff that you can uh, change the ground models to but you have to do it in that file you can't do it in the editor